Hi, welcome to another video. Today we have a seasonal spoiler. I'm going to be having an early look inside the Jurassic World Dominion 2022 advent calendar. There are 24 compartments as usual, and in total there's 30 items, and it's broken down like this. There's one figure, there's 19 dinosaurs, and 10 pieces, which makes the scene. So with that figure, that is 20 minis, and like it says, there's 30 pieces in total, with that lovely snowy T-Rex picture on the back. But anyway, let's get this open and have a look at what we've got. After removing that film, you can see the doors a little more clearly here. There's door number one right there, but we're not going to do it that way today. That's going to be too slow. We're going straight to the side entrance. Just a couple of snips here and I haven't destroyed the box. I could give this away even, or pretend it's never happened. But here we are looking great already, all these dinosaurs. As we can see down the bottom here, we have some great Jurassic Park gates. And they look like they've got some proper good detail on them too. And here are the fence sections. There's four sections in each compartment and a little side entrance building too. Anyway, here are the dinosaur minis. We're starting with the T-Rex, who's got an opening mouth. There's the Ankylosaurus and the Iguanodon. One of my favourites, the Stegosaurus, which has got a really nice paint job. The colourful Yangchangosaurus with the opening mouth also. We've got a Pteranodon and a Triceratops. Ceratosaurus. A nicely imagined Parasaurolophus. Baryonyx and Suchomimus. I think the Suchomimus has got a jaw feature too. There's the three Raptors. We've got two Gallimimus. One of my classic favourites. The Metrodon, and we have Dilophosaurus, and one obscure inclusion, the Lystrosaurus. And to finish it all off, here's our Jurassic Park worker. There's so much included in this advent calendar this year, I don't think that's got to disappoint anybody. But let's have a closer look at these Jurassic Park gates. I think these look fantastic. There's so much neat detail on these, especially with the classic Jurassic Park logo. I think these gates would even work quite well with other stuff like Hot Wheels or Micro Machines, any toy cars. They are quite a handy size. I'll just demonstrate one of the cars I have by my side, this is the Jurassic Park Jeep. That's a standard Hot Wheels sized car, just so you can get an idea. There you go, not too bad. But let's get on with building this. There's just two little clips on each section of the fence. They do need a little bit of force to push these together, but don't be afraid, they won't break. Well, not so far. And there's a little side entrance there, that doesn't have an open door, but that is there for effect. And there we are. One compound and set of Jurassic Park gates that are actually quite sturdy and useful. But let's just have a closer look at the dinosaurs. And first up, the T-Rex. Let's just have a look at the mouth, the opening mouth feature. There's such good detail on these and they're so small. But there you go, we're just going to have a quick look at them all. There's the Ankylosaurus, quite a nice colour too. They're not hard plastic, they are quite rubbery. And they do work with other series of minis that you can buy in blind bags and boxes. Here's our Iguanodon. That is nice to see that they've put some thought or some imagination into the detail of these. One of my old favourites next. A greatly detailed Stegosaurus with its waggly tail feature. The Yangchangosaurus. That's got an open mouth. A really colourful character. Very impressive. And next to our Suchomimus, another one with an opening mouth feature. There we go. Now Baryonyx, in a bit more realistic reptilian colour. And here's our well-imagined Parasaurolophus. Love the choice of colours here. A really nice blue and brown. And next up, our Ceratosaurus. There we go. Now classic, Triceratops. Here's our Pteranodon. They are quite rubbery, so it doesn't matter if you want to flap the wings about. Here's one of our three raptors. And I'm guessing they're all based on Owen's raptors, Charlie, Delta Blue and Echo. I'm not sure which one's which. That's number two, and our last raptor. Here we are. And our two Gallimimus next. This is one of those dinosaurs that you can actually see that bird look. Very nice, but you can't help but notice their big flappy feet. Excellent for running, which we've all seen. There you go. No problem getting away with those. And here's the classic Dimetrodon. Love this one. They've gone to a little bit more effort on some than others, but I do love that one. 
And here's our Dilophosaurus with the frill, strangely coloured again, but the detail is great, especially in the head area. And the unusual Lystrosaurus, that's our last one of the lot. And here's the worker, or the human, whatever you like to call him. Hasn't got poseable features, but he can bend. And in proportion, that is quite good compared to the size of the Jeep, so not too bad. But let's put it all together. If you had the discipline to do this correctly, open it one day at a time, you'd see your collection gradually grow. But I'm doing this for a video, so that's my excuse. And I hope I haven't spoiled it too much, but it is worth the wait. I'll just give you one last look around. But that is it for today. I hope you like this video, thank you very much for watching, have a great time wherever you are, and I hope you enjoy your advent calendars whatever you choose to get, but anyway, please keep an eye out for more advent calendar videos that I'll be uploading in the next couple of weeks, so please subscribe to be notified of all of these, and of course any other Jurassic Park related videos that I'll be uploading in between then. So there we go, that was the Jurassic World Dominion 2022 advent calendar, thanks again for watching, I'll see you next time.